Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host and moderator, Sherelle Roberts, and we are here with the Let's Talk team. It's Susan Mills, Kim Dixon, and Lisa High. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm excited about today's show because we are doing a little something different today. Mm -hmm. We're getting right in to the count down convo. Mm -hmm. oh, I know I'm springing it on you. You ready? <laughs> All right, so this is the part of the show where we talk about as many topics and we try to beat the clock. Let's get that timer started. Whew, okay, first up. So, there are some scientists who are making incredibly good process, uh, progress on being able to make humans completely in the lab. Basically, they can take cells from me and a partner and make a baby, like grow everything in the lab, me and Susan could have a baby, me and Kim could have a baby, me and Lisa could have a baby, or Kim could have one all by herself. It could be a half Kim, half Kim. Uh, Cloning is around the corner. I, yeah, this this scares me. It really does. It has a, a very Frankenstein feel to it. I know it's not the same, but it has that feel to it, and it scares me. And I think it worries a lot of people too. Um, I mean, this was what people were worried about when first talking about stem cell research. So, and here it is. Here we're confronted with it. Where does it stop? That's my concern. Mm. It feels like someone's trying to play God. Yes. <laughs> in, yeah. in my opinion, um, it, from the religious perspective, I don't agree with it. Um, but I, I do believe that stem cells could be used like to, for like, if someone's missing a finger. Like, yes. yes. To grow yeah. them a finger. Right. Okay, that Accidents. seems harmless yes. enough. Yes. But, actually producing babies. Mm -mm. Yep. Nope. No, I don't think this is a good idea at all. We don't know what kind of side effects come from these things. Mm -hmm. You know, what is going to happen if we do this, does this break down? So yeah. I, I don't think this is a good idea at all. No. Yeah, from my standpoint, I think the science is moving really fast. I think the science needs, scientists need to get some ethical guidelines mm -hmm. around this. Yeah. And then government needs to make some rules because the science is not gonna stop. This one is, woof, yeah, a scary. mess. Mm -hmm. Can be dangerous. All right, up next, the American Lung Association says that we should switch to electric cars. They say it would lower America's medical bills by one trillion. It could save 89,000 lives. And they're saying, you know, they're saying this is something that we should do quickly because folks with asthma and other illnesses would start to get better and feel less sick. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm really inclined to follow this because this is not a car company saying this. This is not an electric mm -hmm. company saying this. This is the American Lung Association saying this. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. I, I have asthma. Mm -hmm. It has gotten worse in the past three years, actually. And I think it's because the air quality is going down and there's so much in our air now. And I do think this is a good idea. I think we need maybe a little more infrastructure for it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to have to be slower. But I think this is a great idea. I think it, it, it's very healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, so I don't think it's, we've been talking so much about electric vehicles mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, I mean, we would buy a Tesla right now. Now to replace the battery is $20,000. <laughs> so you might as well buy a new car. Mm -hmm. But I think that you can make baby steps towards some of these things. Like Cameron and I have an electric lawnmower. We have an electric weed trimmer, um, a, an electric leaf blower. So those are things, because those things put out a ton of emissions too. Yes. So you can make baby steps. You might not be able to afford the car. Yeah. But it's a start. Do the yeah. lawn equipment. Yeah, and you know, little changes like that make a huge difference if everybody is involved. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, my concerns, I, you know, I see the benefits, especially like in bigger cities, to mm -hmm. really start incorporating more electric vehicles, electric taxis, and all of that in the bigger cities to reduce emissions there. Um, but I think longer distances and trains and things like that, I just think that that would be, we're a ways away from that. Um, and plus, I just don't know if that would be ideal for long distances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And then finally, uh, Chipotle, which I love, has announced that they have a new robot that's going to be making their guacamole. It's called an autocado. Oh, <laughs> that's a play on auto. I wish I had yeah. come up with that name. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Now, while that's funny, it got me thinking. I'm concerned about robots taking our jobs. And I heard a really compelling argument from a talk news person that I never agree with. And he said there are some jobs in the economy that have to be reserved. They could be replaced by robots, mm. but, but they have to be reserved so that people have jobs to do and so that the economy can continue to operate. What do you all think? Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think that with, you know, I agree with that person completely, 
you know, also they had mentioned that there, um, you know, that there's jobs that people just don't want, and they're just, you know, and they don't have anybody to fill those jobs. I disagree with that because there are special needs people that that are out there that can handle doing monotonous type jobs and 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 be able to do jobs that most people might find difficult to mm -hmm. do or boring mm -hmm. or something like that. And and those people, it can put those people to work, and and that that whole society is growing rapidly. Autism and all of that is growing in our society. Let's find jobs for those folks instead of putting computer or I mean putting robots into those mm -hmm. positions mm -hmm. or robots for like super dangerous yes. positions. Yes. You know, like the military like uses those. The police force. Mm -hmm. Yes. The bomb robots. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Kim, what do you think on this? I, I, I factory made versus homemade. Think about a cake that's made in a factory versus the artistic cake that someone is doing. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in this machine because I had a really hideous accident with an avocado one time. <laughs> but some jobs are more artistic than others. It makes a difference, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yes. It, it really yeah. does. A handcraft versus mass produced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we blew through the buzzer a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. So yesterday we had University of Kentucky bas women's basketball coach Kyra Elsie on the show, but it got broken up because of an ABC News cut in from NATO. Don't worry, you're going to see the rest of the interview after the break. Let's Talk Kentucky is brought to you by Critchfield Meats. At Rally's, I'm in the driver's seat. Give me that $5 meal deal with a Rally burger or a bacon cheddar crisp, plus sides and a drink for just five bucks, or go Big Cheese, the Cheddar Cheddar Buford. Whatever you order, own it at Rally's. Get your late night flavor fix. When you travel, they always say, get a room with a view. And every new Toyota comes with that. Like this RAV4, America's best-selling SUV has got all kinds of room. And you can't beat this view. This electrified RAV4 hybrid can go an estimated 580 miles without stopping for gas or to recharge. During Toyota's Room with a View event, get 3.99 APR on RAV4 or 4.99 on RAV4 hybrid. Plus two years no-cost maintenance. Book your room now. Toyota, let's go places. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. Doctor, after my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me really self conscious. It's not your fault. That stubborn fat and excess skin is very difficult to get rid of with diet and exercise alone. That's exactly why I went to Sono Bello. I really trust their team of experts, and I finally got the flat stomach I had always wanted. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. Ab EX is a great alternative to a tummy tuck because that overhang you mentioned becomes flat and tight fast with minimal downtime. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now to learn more about Ab EX by Sono Bello. Call 1-888-507-8988 or go to sonobello.com. The Viewer's Choice Awards results are in. Hicks and Funson wins Best Law Firm and Best Personal Injury Attorney again this year. Go to WTVQ.com for a full list of winners. And thank you for voting for Hicks and Funson. the show. I'm Sherelle Roberts. We've got the Let's Talk team here, and we are joined at the table by University of Kentucky women's basketball coach, Coach Kyra Elzey. Yes! 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 Thank you all for having me. Thank you. Yes. I feel like we should have had a band here. You all did it well. 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 I like it. So about a month from now, we're going to be starting a new basketball season. What can the fans in Big Blue Nation expect from the team? New team, new energy, new goals. They've been working hard all summer. I think they're sick of summer practice, ready for <laughs> practice uh, to start, but excited about um, our new journey ahead. Players are playing really hard. Plus, we're going to be in Rep Arena for majority yes. of our games, so come see us in yeah. Rep this year. Oh, Ooh. my gosh, we're so excited. Can't wait. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Okay, so you coach not only the college kids, but you've also started a new camp for the little Earth kids, too. Let's talk about the new camp that you have, the summer camp. Absolutely. Our On the Five Give Back Camp. Here uh -huh. is the shirt. I brought you all one as well. Oh, yes. um, but the On the Five is my foundation. It is life skills through sports, mm -hmm. and we're targeting sixth through eighth grade. 
um, 100 participants. Uh, the registration will open today. It is free at Tate Creek High School on August the 5th. So if you go to my social media at UK Coach Elsie, there's a link in my bio, or um, go to the Gmail. Um, I had to write it down so I didn't forget. We have on the too, five yeah. foundation um, at gmail.com. Uh, first come, first serve. First hundred participants. You all don't want to miss it. Oh, oh my very gosh. cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. So. You teach, um, you do uh, camps on campus too, is that correct? Absolutely. So what are the differences between the summer camp and, and what you do at school? Well, our summer camp, that's more fun, uh, fundamentals, uh, strictly basketball. The On the Five Foundation camp um, has a classroom portion to it. So the oh. first part um, of the camp is life skills. Um, so we have someone come in to talk about leadership, um, self-esteem, mm. branding. We're gonna do oh. etiquette class this oh. year, so it's the life skills portion, and then we'll transition to basketball. That is mm. absolutely amazing. Awesome. I love oh my that, gosh. I love that. Well, let's talk about the impact that this has. I mean, what kind of impact do you want? Obviously, teaching these life skills that are so important, not only yeah. like in real life, but my gosh, in the classroom, what kind of impact do you wanna have? Well, sports can teach you so much. Yeah. Yeah, it teaches you how to win, it teaches you how to lose, um, competition, discipline, work. Um, so you have the opportunity. I was one of those students. I didn't like just to sit in the classroom, believe it or not. I do have two degrees, but I did not like sitting in the classroom. Um, but when you can apply life skills, how is this going to help me later? And we can really catch their attention at a vulnerable age. I think it'll be a big impact. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. So I have to ask about this. You know, we talk so much about, I wish they would have taught me this in school. Geometry, not so much. But you know, how to, how to say hello to somebody, how to network, how yes. to shake a hand, yes. how to balance a checkbook, you mm -hmm. know, like what Those kinds of things do you think that. you're going to, yeah. All of that. Mm -hmm. And um, we kicked it off last year in my hometown in Odom County um, and the portion about self-esteem and we really tackled social media. And you mm -hmm. would not believe mm -hmm. the impact social media uh, has on this generation mm -hmm. and, all, and all of us now because it's the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. So trying to meet them um, where they are, but just trying to have them use the positives of it, but it really affects self-esteem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, are oh, you yeah. partnered with groups or businesses to help make this happen? Um, not yet. I'm continuing to work on it in yeah. Lexington because it's the first time that we're hosting it in Lexington. Ah. When I did it in my hometown, we had a lot of hometown mm -hmm. sponsors there. So yeah. if you would like to partner with me nice. on the Five Foundation, you can get on our website. It will be up um, next week. Um, but I would love to partner with anyone. Oh, very spectacular. Nice. Who wouldn't want to partner with a with something like this? This is an amazing yeah, thing. Very yeah, very wonderful. Cool. Well, Coach Elsie, thanks for filling us in on that. <laughs> but she's staying with us. Don't go anywhere. When we come up after the break, she's going to play one of our favorite games, <laughs> Would You Rather? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's Talk Kentucky is brought to you by Critchfield Meats. Next ET, Real Housewives meet The Simple Life, how Sonia and Luann's new show push them to the brink. I don't think any other housewife could get through that. Next ET, tonight at 7 on ABC 36. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call America's largest injury law firm. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Hi, this is Joseph with Rapid Fire Home Buyers. Do you have a house that's costing you too much time and money? Maybe a rental house, an inherited house you don't know what to do with, or the house you're living in that you just can't keep up with. We buy property in any condition and any price range all over the Southeast. Sell your house as is for cash with no repairs, no fees, and no commissions. If you're even thinking of selling your house, before you call a realtor, give us a call for a free cash offer. Call 859-695-3875. I had experienced some severe trauma. I had been troubled for over 25 years with treatment-resistant depression. Through medication management, I felt like I was maintaining happy. They raised the level of my depression, so it doesn't go as deep. My sense of humor was back. I was laughing again. The treatments here have just given me a, a means to live a joyful existence. 
tallied the votes, and the results are in. Touche Salon wins Best Hair Salon in the ABC 36 Viewer's Choice Awards. Go to WTVQ.com for a full list of winners, and thank you for voting for Touche Salon. Here we go. I want to prank my son. That's a yes. The mark is here. <laughs> That's for sure. New The Prank Panel, Sunday on ABC. Hey, yo, welcome back to the show. It's the Let's Talk team, and Coach Elsie is still hanging out with us. Right. We are ready to play our one of our favorite games, Would You Rather? This is when we ask a bunch of awkward, funny, or fun questions that makes Kim giggle or be very nervous. We're ready. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> We're ready to kick it off. All right, question number one. Let's get it up there on the screen. This is for the coach. Would you rather play one-on-one -on -one basketball with Lisa Leslie or Cheryl Swoops? That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. I love Lisa Leslie, but I don't want to go against her. She has too much height. <laughs> Cheryl Swoops. I'm picking Cheryl Swoops. Okay. Do you think you could take her? Because you know this is going to go viral. Go ahead. Well, I definitely <laughs> cannot take her, but I did wear her shoes in college, so um, the Swoops. So I feel like I might be able to defend her, but if all else fails, I'm going to foul her. But <laughs> she is that woman. Okay. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right, next question. Let's get it up there. Would you rather lose the ability to cry or cry every day for five minutes randomly and without warning? <laughs> for how long? Five minutes every day. For the rest of your life. For the rest of your life out of nowhere. Oh, gosh. <gasps> that is tough. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That's yes, horrible. I'm gonna do the random crying because I feel like it's a great way to vent. Yes. So I need it. So I'm gonna have to just do it randomly. So if it happens during the show, sorry, so not be sorry, it. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, I'm looking at it. It could be a happy cry. Yeah. You know, yeah. like oh, I mean, it doesn't have to be a sad cry. True. Yeah. Like I. No, I would say yeah. If it's at random, you don't get to determine what kind of cry. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> But it that's can make no it, sense whatsoever. It's exciting if it just randomly happens. You know, it's exciting for you. It's exciting for the people around you. Is she you. sad? Is she happy? Yeah, it's fun. It'll you know, that's fun. true. People could start taking beds. Like, I wonder what See? time Lisa's going to start crying. <laughs> 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 or you're dead asleep right. and you're like, oh. <laughs> Coach, what about you? I'm going to do the random. Are random? you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I want to have empathy. I want to be able to cry, if, you yeah, know, if, it's, if the emotion's upon me, you know. So, yeah. To do the, the yeah, very good. All right, up next, our next question. <laughs> Lord, I apologize in advance, you guys. Okay, would you rather always get caught at a red light or would you always rather have slow internet? Oh. So for me, I'm always gonna want that red light because the anger and the rage <laughs> I feel when my internet is slow. Oh, I've seen you that oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. Uh -huh. The internet's out. <laughs> no, this is real. They're not over exaggerating. I'll yeah. like yell across the newsroom. Is anybody else's internet out? <laughs> That's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Red I, light. Definitely a red light. Red light. Red yeah. light. Red yeah. light. Yeah. Red light. That is so red light. funny. Oh isn't my it? gosh. Golly. It's like the world shuts down though. Yeah. When you if, don't need, if you don't yeah. have internet yes. or it's slow. I need to know how to make this pie. Oh. I'm usually calling my husband. I'm like, the internet's not working. What's happening? <laughs> oh, yes, good old dial up. Remember that? Oh, oh, and then man. someone picks up the phone in the house. <laughs> my God, my, my dad, dad right. went nuts when that happened, and he got me my own phone line so that I would oh, stop doing that's, it. That's, oh, that's so good, funny. Yeah, that's wild. All right, that's next thing. up. Let's get it on the screen. Would you rather live in a world where there's no crime or a world where there is no privacy? This one's serious. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go with, uh, oh gosh, I really value privacy. And I think that privacy is kind of like the line that's drawn between us and government. It's kind of the only thing that helps our democracy stay functioning. So I would rather deal with the crime than to lose my privacy. Ooh. Ooh. That's a tough one. That's a mm -hmm. tough one. I wanna say no crime. I'm a pretty open person. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I might be scared to find out <laughs> some other people, but I don't know. Crime's just scary. Yeah. 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 
I'm going with you. No crime. I love my privacy, yeah, which I don't yeah. get a lot of, but I'm going with no crime. We yeah. have too much going on in the world. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to have to pick privacy because <laughs> I have been known to eat a can of peaches right out of the can at 2 in the morning, and I don't need other people seeing it. Just crack open the can if you're hungry. What's wrong with that? Oh, what's yeah. that with peas? Yeah. I can't with everything. It's no problem. Peas. Is that a problem? <laughs> no, I feel goodness. a lot better now. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, no crime. Okay. <laughs> yes. We converted her. Yes. yes. Oh no my crime. God. No crime. Definitely no crime. I, you know, the privacy, lack of privacy, I can deal with that, but the crime is just, it's out of control. Yeah. So. Well, all right. I guess I'm the only one who likes privacy. <laughs> Everybody, stay with us. We will have another segment coming up after this. Let's Talk Kentucky is brought to you by Critchfield Meats. My name is Rose. Smoking caused my lung cancer. I was on chemo and radiation. They took part of my lung out, and they put this in me to drain the fluid. Every day I prayed that they would remove it. My tip is be careful what you wish for. That chest tube hurt a lot more coming out than it did going in. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Here's a simple truth about higher education. If pursuing your purpose, doing what you really care about matters. If having a rewarding career matters. If a better financial future for you and your family matters. Then higher education matters. A brighter future is within your reach. Find out how at kyhigheredmatters.org. Brought to you by this station and the Kentucky Broadcasters Association. At Rally's, I'm in the driver's seat. Give me that $5 meal deal with a Rally burger or a bacon cheddar crisp, plus sides and a drink for just 5 bucks. Or go Big Cheese, the Cheddar Cheddar Buford. Whatever you order, own it at Rally's. Get your late night flavor fix. The Viewer's Choice Awards results are in. The city of Wilmore wins Best Downtown. Go to WTVQ.com for a full list of winners. And thank you for voting for the city of Wilmore in ABC 36 Viewer's Choice Awards. This is your summer to smile, to raise your glass and reconnect, to reel in the fun and serve up great times. To help you get ready, your Aspen Dental team is celebrating 25 years of affordable care with an epic Summer of Smiles event. Right now, new patients without insurance get a free full exam and x-rays. Plus, everyone can get 20% off their treatment plan. But hurry, because while these summer savings won't last, the memories you make together will. Aspen Dental, book today. Sherelle Roberts. Welcome back to the show. Hope you enjoyed getting here from Coach Elsie. Now at the table we have another guest. It's Ashley Smith and she's here to talk about an upcoming candle making workshop. Ashley, we're so glad to have Yay! you back. Yay! So tell us about this candle making workshop. Well, next Tuesday, July 18th, we invite everybody in the community to consider coming out and joining Fly Girl Candle owner Deidre Barnes at the Black Soil KY Fulfillment Center for a hands-on interactive candle making workshop. Hmm. Okay, you said interactive. Is it? It's not just candle making. What's the experience like? Yeah, perfect world um, experience. So we come in. We really bring you in to center you around first loving yourself. Thus the meaning of fly girl candle ah, gotcha. and um, from there we really focus on networking and building relationships and customizing a hand poured soy wax candle and then we venture over to Grey Line Station, yeah. support some of those local businesses there with food and drink which is included in your admission oh. so mm -hmm. you get to walk away with a candle that you curate, we'll have some food and drink and uh, some fellowship and networking. Oh, that's gosh. fun. I think oh, it's no. always like, do you find like women and men that come to this or? Well, usually we have ladies, yeah. um, moms, daughters, we've had grandmothers and their grandkids come oh, out, cute. but this is a family friendly, everyone is welcome. Um, it's a great way to express your creativity mm -hmm. while walking away with a perfect gift you can give somebody. Yeah, okay, so expressing creativity. So what skill level do you need to have? <laughs> I'm talking bare minimum. Can really? you pick out a scent that you like? Yes. Okay, can you then put pretty 
things on top of your candle to make it even more maybe. magnificent. Maybe. You with a little help, the boxes. Maybe. <laughs> you qualify. And if right, you know how to good. use the internet, you can go to our website as well All right. to get those tickets. Ah, so, like Ashley, that. tell us about the website and how folks can get tickets. Well, we invite you to visit blacksoilky.com. Check out our events page, and you'll see the July 18th Candle Making Workshop. All right. <laughs> Ashley, awesome. thank you so much for Thanks sharing for with me. us. And before we finish up the show, again, we like to end every show with by highlighting a woman worth talking about. And today's woman worth talking about is Martine Holzman. Oh, love Martine. Mar yeah. yeah. Martine is the owner of Martine's Pastries, and she has owned it in Lexington since 1999. What? Um, and in 2018, she expanded her shop into the East End area um, after 17 years on Industry Road. Now, if you have never been there, let me tell you something. Okay, <laughs> she is known for her elaborate and tasty cakes, wedding cakes and pastries, but it's the butter cake for me. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Woo, the butter cake is a showstopper. I am yeah. into those, uh, what, the, the macaron? Oh, oh yes. yeah. Yes. Oh, I can eat about 15 of those, in, I mean four in one step. <laughs> <laughs> and so Martine says her philosophy from the beginning was to build a business with excellent customer service and use the finest gourmet ingredients so Kim could eat 15, I mean four of those macarons. <laughs> um, she brings her artistic skill, if you haven't seen it, it's gorgeous mm -hmm. stuff. And I appreciate that she's really been working with East End and she partners to make sure that when her shop went in, it didn't disrupt up the culture of the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a big love thing. That. Yeah. That's their, a really big thing. And their lunch is great. Oh, yeah. Too. Yes. I love going there for mm -hmm. lunch. Yeah. So, Martine, you are a woman worth talking oh. about. And we want to say congratulations to you and highlight you today. So, congratulations. Yay. Yay. Everybody. Yay. Yay. So, everybody. We've been telling you, but we really, really mean it. We want you to send us the women in your life that's making a difference. The, the women who are in your neighborhood, at your yes. church, your grandma, yes. your aunt, <laughs> just whoever, a woman who's worth talking about to you. And it doesn't have to be, you know, we talked about this, Susan. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like a celebrity. No. no. I mean, there's no. so many people, teachers, um, nurses, mm -hmm. like your next door neighbor. Yes. Exactly. Like, these are people that are making significant impacts in the community yeah. doing whatever they do best. So go to our website, WTVQ.com, click on our page, and then click on the link and nominate somebody. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.